Collect from a fellow collector at Sportin' Mortons. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at an exclusive Botcon figure, and I think it's from the 2013 Botcon set. It's Cinder Sore, which is a repainted version of the Cybertron and Anniversary Beast Wars Megatron that we've had before set up in the G2 Cinder, Cinder Sore colors, but that's okay. I don't mind. I love this mold. I think this is a really great mold. This is a very interesting use of the mold. Uh, definitely cool stuff. He is uh, the same exact mold. There were no changes. Uh, he even has the um, ass blaster gimmick that we see in the other two figures. Uh, his Cybertron key, however, is a little bit different. This is the key that came with the other two figures uh, from the Beast Planet. His is a Decepticon G2 style, which is pretty darn cool. Um, for some reason, it reminds me of Soundwave. I don't know why, but it just does. Maybe it's that little piece there. Uh, so that's definitely cool. He also has uh, some totally gnarly uh, G2 paint scheme going on here, which we'll take a look at. Definitely love the mold. It looks like a Tyrannosaur to me. It reminds me of the Tyrannosaur from Jurassic Park, especially in the head sculpt. Um, it just looks really, really cool. Um, definitely digging him. Now, uh, he has a G2 Decepticon logo on his leg there, which is really, really nice. Definitely appreciating that. Um, really cool stuff. Love the translucent blues, uh, which I'll show close up here, uh, which really kind of goes back to Cindersaur. He was one of those Sparkticons where you revved him up and you could see the sparks inside and he had the translucent plastic. Uh, that's a great homage to that. I think it's just really, really darn cool. Um, so yeah, I, you know, this is a great mold. I got this from uh, Sport and Morton's. Uh, for a really, really good price. Um, love the purple tongue. Just looks really cool. Uh, he's got the kind of dead green eye there. I like how the red, that looks like muscle, um, continuing underneath the jaw, which is really nice. The kind of neon green and the purple. Definitely G2 decoed. Um, and that translucent blue on his chest and up here on his arm. Uh, we get some red on the front. Uh, he's got this nice kind of polished silver paint on his toes. Um, really, really cool. Definitely digging him. Um, some really nice silver paint apps on the top, all the way down his spine. Um, and then if you look, there's the G2 logo. But we kind of get this translucent tail, and you can see the missile through there, uh, which is a gray color. I'm surprised it's not neon green, to be honest. And of course, there's where the Cybertron key goes for his little ass blaster. Uh, definitely a cool figure. All right, it's comparison time. Let's compare the Botcon Cindersaur with some of his repaint counterparts. Here we have the Botcon Cindersaur with the 10th anniversary Beast Wars Megatron. Here we have the Botcon Cindersaur with the Transformers Cybertron Predacon Decode Megatron. And here we have all three color variations of this T-Rex mode together, and they look damn cool. So here we have Cindersaur in his robot mode, and I, I like the mold, I do. It looks like Megatron, and the color decos on this guy is crazy. If you're not into the late 80s, early 90s color schemes, you're probably not going to like this robot, but I like it. I appreciate it. It's definitely different, um, and it's a great homage. Definitely cool stuff. Um, again, same transformation as the other figures. Relatively easy. The top part transforms like the old Beast Wars Megatron, which I really did like. Um, 
we really see the translucent blue here, which is really nice. Everything else is pretty much just kind of the light blue. Um, but yeah, let's get a close up here. Very cool stuff. Um, I, I really do like the paint apps. I like the color combinations. I think they look really nice. This really makes it look like a different figure. And of course, his feet are the Tyrannosaur uh, legs. But again, the head is very poseable. He holds the um, weapon in his hand right there, uh, just like the other figures. And then uh, there, of course, you can use the cyber key to blast out the weapon. So again, just as a comparison without holding the tail, that's what he looks like. I, it, the arm just looks small and stumpy. I don't like it. I like having them holding the tail. I think that looks a lot better. So let's compare the BotCon exclusive Cindersaur with some of his painted counterparts. Here he is with the Transformers Cybertron Predacon Deco of Megatron. And here he is with the 10th Anniversary Beast Wars Megatron figure. Definitely cool together as a set. I'm not really sure which one I like the best. Um, I gravitate more towards the 10th Anniversary, but I'm an old Beast Wars fan. So is this a figure that you want in your collection? I'm going to have to say yes, especially if you like BotCon exclusive figures. This is a great mold, a fantastic repaint of it. If you like odd, quirky Transformers, this is definitely one to get. Uh, or if you're a G2 fan, uh, it's a great upgrade for the Cindersaur figure. Um, and I mean, the Megatron figure is just a great fun mold. I appreciate the uh, translucent blue plastic and all the neon colors. Just a really nice figure. And, you know, this is the only the second time they've used the mold because the original 10th anniversary mold and the Predacon redecoed Cybertron version came out the same year. They were just different paint jobs. Uh, so there is zero mold degradation on this figure, and that is fantastic. So there he is, the BotCon exclusive Cinder Sore. If you guys like this video, definitely thumbs it up. If you hated this video, thumbs it down. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. Share my videos. Add a comment down below. And as always, look for more videos in the future.